Hey folks, Josephine Sabora here. Yes, I'm back, ready to do a video after all this time. <laughs> well, I just needed a break, you know, just to continue doing all this other stuff. Anyway, I thought about doing a Black Friday video because in recent years, with Best Buy and Target not be able to sell any physical media anymore, uh, although I'm not so sure if that's going to happen or not, since I had to read that article on the internet claiming that they'll stop selling them in 2024. But, you know, we want physical media to be kept alive and well, and we still want to be able to get something at retail stores, yet alone everywhere else. So at that rate... I would like to post what I just got during Black Friday about two weeks ago. Hard to believe. <laughs> uh, starting with uh, Best Buy, uh, right here, as you can see, <laughs> the Best Buy bag. Um, but I did got one item from Amazon, just to join in. Okay. Uh, starting with the 4K of the Blob that's released by Screen Factory, part of Shout. Yeah, it used to be F Shout Factory, but it's now known as Shout Studios. But it can still be Shout Factory on its own. Yes, and I heard the 4K looks stunningly beautiful and does have excellent sound. It has all the extras included. And in fact, this is a, a brand new 4K scan that they use from Sony Pictures. So they got it from the studio bolts instead of using the recycle HD print that they've been using since um, Twilight Time and even Screen Factory for that matter. And they were also using it um, on streaming everywhere. That's the same print that they ever got. But this one looks even better. And it's worth picking it up for sure. Not to mention this is one of the best horror remakes of the late 80s. Yep, which was directed by Chuck Russell. Who, of course... Um, wrote it as well to join in with Frank Darabont, who of course went on to become well known for for doing the Sean Shake Redemption and the Green Mile. Yeah, which I know I got the Green Mile on 4K uh, last year. Um, I've yet to find the Sean Shake Redemption because I do have the Blu-ray and DVD, but it would be nice to upgrade to 4K. Um, but nevertheless, um, has all the features right there, as you can see. Has a great cast, including Kevin Dillon and Shawnee Smith. And I love that they use the slipcover, as well as um, the case as well. Hasn't been open yet, but I'm going to check it out for sure. I want to get a chance. But still, it's, it's incredible to finally get this after all this time. Uh, and also, to join in with that, because I had to get this on Amazon uh, this week, even though I had to wait that long for it, because apparently, you know, it was struggling pretty hard to be sent by the United States Postal Service. They had to get a second carrier, and I had to wait um, a couple days before they finally arrived. And that was on, indeed, a Monday. But I finally got Tales from the Dark Side, the movie, on 4K, coming with the Blu-ray, of course. And I'm so glad they used this cover art. This was, this was the movie poster that I always remember seeing. Um, same goes with um, the VHS and Laserdisc, as we speak. But then when they hit DVD, they had a different cover art, which just looks awful and even when they released this on blu-ray back in 2020 
Yeah, they just use a different cover art for it, but I'm just glad they used this one because it's so much better. That's why I prefer to that. I mean, we already know that so many cast of this entire film was there. And of course, this is the real creep show free as we speak. Not that crappy one that came out in 2006. Yeah, avoid that one. But look at here, you got Deborah Harry from Blondie. And it's joined in with um, all the rest right here. Has all the great features right there included. I'm so amazed to see that. Yeah. But not only do you have Deborah Harry, but you also have Julianne Moore, Steve Buscemi, Christian Slater, Ray Dodd Sean, uh, James Ramar, uh, David Johansson, William Hickley, uh, Alice Drummond, and of course, Matthew Lawrence. Yeah, Joey Lawrence's uh, brother. <laughs> yeah, all on, on 4K with Blu-ray. So yes, I'm just so happy to finally get this because I always loved the TV series ever since I saw it back in the 80s and 90s. And even when I started watching them in reruns on Sci-Fi Channel and Chiller, I started taping the show a lot on both VHS and DVD-Rs that I had. Uh, maybe someday I'll, I'll upgrade it to a DVD for the TV series. It would be nice if they put it on Blu-ray someday, maybe. But nevertheless, I'm just happy that we finally got a 4K for this film. It really deserves. And I'm going to check it out uh, when I get a chance to. Because I... Though they did say something about the audio issues going around. I'm not so sure about that. But I heard the, the, the 4K just looks incredibly stunning. Thank goodness for that. But nevertheless, I'm just happy I got it. Um, now we're going to go for this uh, Blu-ray that I picked up that I've been wanting to get for a very long time. Because I saw this movie also came out the same year as Tales from the Dark Side, the movie. But I saw this uh, when I was a kid, too. And then I later saw it on TV a lot. I did taped it. On one of the Encore channels, I think. Or it might have been on Flix, um, whatever. But nevertheless, um, I'm so glad it finally came out on Blu-ray. I It would be nice if they put it on 4K too, but that's okay. <laughs> but it's the best drawn release of Blue Steel with Jamie Lee Curtis as a young rookie cop who's about to go after this psychopath who's a Wall Street broker played by Ron Silver and this was uh, directed by Catherine Bigelow the same woman who gave us uh, movies like Near Dark Strange Days Point Break which just got a, a brand new 4k release uh, recently I hope I can get that someday because I do have the Blu-ray. And she also went on to do films like The Hurt Locker, which I know they had a 4K already. Maybe I'll get that someday too. But I'm just happy that this film finally got a release it deserves. If Only Strange Days gets a release like this, I, I'm definitely going to pick it up for sure. But it's a very intense thriller that came out in 1990. Uh, originally, this was a Bestron uh, release, but they gave it to MGM due to Bestron's um, bankruptcy problems. Um, and it has all the great extras right here, too, as you can see. Um, yes, you can see the screenshots of Jamie Lee Curtis, uh, Ron Silver, God rest his soul. And once again, Jamie Lee Curtis as the cop right there, making a salute. Um, hasn't been open yet, but, oh yeah, it is open, <laughs> sorry. Um, of course, this is what it looks like. Um, I already used the, the digital codes, so, um, so I'm, here we are, just covering it up. Um, and I just want to see, 
Yep, this is where it looks like on the disc. Yeah. Uh, and I, and by the way, I heard the Blu-ray just looks stunningly beautiful, almost close to being 4K at this point, like a 4K scan. But I'm just happy that we got what we got. <laughs> And I just hope Bestron and Lionsgate will continue releasing more of these. Because I know they've been pretty slow lately with releasing them. It would be nice if if this time they go for a new change by starting to release uh, 4Ks. Because they really need to start doing that more often. And maybe they should start reissuing all of the previous releases that they put out since 2016. Starting with Chopping Mall. And they all need to have digital codes too, for sure. And they definitely need to be at excellent prices too to pick them up. Yeah, okay. All right, and now I'm gonna go for the Marvel MCU films that I picked up on 4K. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try to take uh, four of them out. Um, so. Yeah, in fact, two of them have slip covers, uh, and the other two don't. So I'm going to go with uh, Gardens of the Galaxy, Volume 3. Uh, the latest of the Gar Guardians of the Galaxy trilogy, and also the last, I believe. And I know we had a Christmas one that came out last year, and it was perfect. Surprisingly, this is the best um, of the trilogy, it was great to see the entire game again. But this also centers around Rocket Raccoon's story. And it's perfectly well told for that by James Gunn. And definitely this is his best film so far this year. And I'm sorry, I rather watch this over his last movie, The Suicide Squad. Yeah. I mean, the fact that he's joined in with DCEU. Okay, and now I got Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, also on 4K. <laughs> and I thought this was actually a quite good sequel. I mean, it doesn't may it may not hold up to the first two, but that's fine. I thought they really went for a, neck, an, a very unique story right there. It does have its issues, though. And it does introduce us to a character named Kane, who's the villain of the story. Jonathan Majors, that's his name, who plays Kane, is going through some controversy. And they, and they were afraid that they're going to replace him, or they might. Who knows? But I thought he did terrific in this movie. I mean, this is the reason for the story. Um, and it has all, got all the features, too. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to open them, but I think we already know exactly what's inside. I'm just trying to keep up the pace. And then I got four Love and Thunder. Yes. This was the last movie that came, well, there's gonna, they might be another fork movie coming out somehow. Um, but it was a very nice uh, welcome when it came out last year. Um, and it is very sad too. But it was great to see um, Nellie Portman back again for one last time. And it's great to see four and, and all the rest of the game back to fight. Yeah. Comes with a nice gorgeous slip cover. Has all the extras, of course. Everything. Um I'm not gonna take it out, but that's fine. I'm just wanna show you for sure. And then of course, uh Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. Yeah, even though this was the final film. But at least pays a tribute to Chakwit Bozeman, who passed away due to cancer. But it was great to see Letitia Wright uh, as Shuri um, becoming the, the next uh, Black Panther to join. 
uh, and we have Queen Ramonda, Abaku, Aoki, and all the rest to, to fight and continue to their battle. Yeah. Yeah, I know Angela Bassett was was excellent too in the role of Queen Ramonda, and I know she was um, she was nominated for an Oscar for that role. Yeah, she didn't win, but still, she was she was terrific. But I'm just happy I I got four of these MCU films um, on 4K to to join in. And I'll continue to get more, no matter what, because I do support superheroes, okay? And superhero films are part of cinema, no matter what, okay? I love movies, too, all right? You know, I, I do have respect to Martin Scorsese and all the rest of the people out there, but every film out there, whatever it's action, adventure, Comedy, drama, animation, uh, superheroes, and all that, all these other genres of, that we got, they're all cinema. End of story. Even movies that came on streaming, they're all cinema. Okay. <laughs> uh, now I'm going to get to all two more comedies that. Or maybe free, but that'll be later. <laughs> um, but I got two comedies that just came out recently on 4K from Paramount. And I was lucky to get them, for sure. It's Scrooge with Bill Murray. And this brand new 4K release with the digital code. And I love that they use the original poster as a slipcover. Despite the fact that... They used this cheap cover art, which was used during the Blu-ray days. Yeah, this cover art. Um, but, but the best thing about this 4K release is that it got special features included. I can't believe it. This never had any special features in all of the previous releases, uh, starting with the laser disc and VHS tapes, of course. But they they were gonna plan on releasing these on DVD back in 2006. But somehow Paramount eventually rejected the idea and it had sat on the bolts for numerous years. I mean, maybe it has to do with um, the controversy going around when they were filming Scrooge. I mean, I know Bill Murray may have his own attitudes towards it, but nevertheless, I still love this movie. You know, it's a Christmas classic as a comedy. It's a parody of all of the Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol adaptations that we get. And I thought this works on that level. And I got... Trading Places on 4K comes with the Blu-ray, of course, with the digital code. Finally, and with Dan Aykroyd and Eddie Murphy together during their SNL days. And yes, it got special features. That's only on the Blu-ray. But I'm really happy that I got it. Um, it has a great cast right there. You got Jamie Lee Curtis in the movie, along with Donna Michi and all the rest, for sure. So I remember watching this movie um, ever since my dad recorded it off of Select TV back in the late 80s, and I watched this. Uh, I always have fun watching this comedy. You know, I thought both Ackroyd and Murphy were terrific together, considering that they're both trading places. You know, he was a bum and he was a rich man. And then suddenly he becomes a rich man. He became a bum. <laughs> yeah. A very classic comedy right there from the 80s. Okay. Um, 
And now I'm going to try to continue to uh, throw on all the other ones uh, that I got too, besides that. Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> I finally got this gorgeous box set of Predator, the four movie collection that actually came out in 2018 uh, when the Predator came out, of course. But this is a gorgeous box set, nevertheless. Uh, I noticed that when, when I saw this at Best Buy, all they've been selling was just the 4K case alone without the slip case. But I was so lucky I found the, the one with the slipcase because it comes with a bonus uh, collectible cards included for all four movies. You have a Predator, Predator 2, Predators, and the Predator. Yeah, it even says uh, Ultra HD Premium. Yes, and they have not only 4K, but also Blu-ray and the digital codes. So... Um, so here you get uh, the collectible cards. I'm sorry, I just gotta try to. Um, they got. I'm just gonna put it right here first. So you got the the cover art of the movie poster of a predator. Um, I'm gonna try to take them all out like this. So here it is. Badass. Uh, poster art I always remember this and it has uh, the line from the movie it says get to the chopper <laughs> well there's a lot of classic lines with the movie besides that like <laughs> you're one ugly motherfucker or if it bleeds we can kill it or I ain't got time to bleed yeah and uh, Predator 2, the most underrated sequel of the entire franchise and still the best, in my opinion. And yes, you could definitely see the Predator on top of the ledge in downtown L.A., which, of course, I'm from L.A., <laughs> but I live in La Crescenta, Glendale, of course. And it says, want some candy? Yeah, the little kid said that. But it sure has some awesome lines, too. Uh, then there's Predators. You gotta admit, this is an awesome, badass poster right there. And has this line that says, Now let's find a way off this fucking planet. Yeah, I know they blocked the, the word. Censored it. <laughs> and I know. It's not that perfect, Peter. And it says, that's my new suit, Bubba. Ugh, terrible. Okay, well, on top of that, here's the case. Yeah. And this will cover the spine. Open it up. Already used the code. <laughs> yeah. Let's see if I can hold it up. Yes, there's Predator. I heard the 4K looks incredibly stunningly beautiful. And this indeed is exactly what they should have used when the previous Blu ray, the Ultimate Hunters Edition, which is included on this set, should have used in the first place. Because we want to have this along with the extras too. Yeah. And yes, um, there's also Predators 2 and Predators. I know they all have those black discs, but you get the idea. And now we're on to the Blu-rays, which this is the Ultimate Hunter's Edition that has all the extras, at least. The Predator. Yeah, with the Predator Blu-ray. Uh, I mean, 4K. Sorry. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna put it right here. Uh, I'm just trying to keep up the pace. 
Predator 2, Predators on blue with extras, and that. Yeah. So they're all together on one set. Now, I'm gonna show you what I got at Target <laughs> during Black Friday. So, I'm gonna start with uh, the Blu-ray of Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves. The true and best Dungeons and Dragons movie of the entire series. Better than the horrible 2000 adaptation that we got, uh, which joins in with a sequel too. But this is the real deal. We have uh, Chris Prine joining in with the entire cast who are about to stop this evil man. Of course, they go around, you know, thieving and doing all these other kinds of adventures. Never give up for sure. And they'll be together for, for all time. <laughs> but it's an, a great set that I picked up. There is a 4K release. I would have loved to pick it up someday if I had to upgrade this. But it's nice to have a Blu-ray to join for sure. Because it comes with a digital code and has some extras to join. And it, it is indeed an amazing film this year. And I still wish it was a bigger hit though. But I, I think it was a modest hit. Because I think it was competing with the Super Mario Brothers movie, which I also got on 4K, of course. <laughs> it was an awesome movie. Uh, okay. And next, which didn't have a slip cover, but it's okay. And I wanted to get this on 4K as well, but I think I can get that later as an upgrade. But I got the Blu ray of Megan. Comes with a DVD and digital code. Um, which was a big surprise for me when I saw this uh, just recently, um, during October. Um, I was almost going to dismiss this movie as being yet another Child's Play or any other Dow horror killer Dow film that we've been getting for the past uh, couple decades. But this turned out to be a, a quite surprise for me. I mean, even for its PG-13 rating, even though it could have been R-rated, in my opinion. Um, but I thought this was pretty intense, worked pretty well for a movie that's being set in this generation, for the, where people are, are getting obsessed with AI. And this is a scary thought when it comes to this idea. <laughs> yeah. And became popular, too, uh, when it came out in early January. Yeah, and it has all the features too. It even got the unrated version, which I prefer. And it's joined in with the theatrical. So you get them all. Um, but again, I'd love to see this on 4K too. For sure. And I got the Blu-ray that was very surprising to find at Target, yet alone other places, Spirited Away, live on stage. Yes, the live adaptation of, of Miyazaki's um, animated classic. That's just a wonderful masterpiece. Still the best, no doubt about it. And I heard the live on stage is even better. For sure. But of course, the Miyazaki film will always be a triumph that I will always love. But I'm happy to get this on Blu ray just to join in with the original. Yeah, because it's part of it. I mean, you, you could imagine having to see a Miyazaki film in live action form too. Uh, just like when they did one for Kiki's Delivery Service in Japan. That would be nice if we get a physical release here in North America. If only G-Kids would pick it up. That would be great. 
We'll see that someday. I don't know, but that's up to them. Oh, and Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse on 4K. Yes, um, this is an excellent follow-up to Into the Spider-Verse, which pretty much ends in a cliffhanger note, because I'm sure there's going to be another sequel coming up, for sure. Because I'd like to see what happens next for... Uh, Miles Morales. Yeah, and joining in with Gwen Stacy and all the rest here. So nice, gorgeous features uh, that's on the Blu ray and should be some on the 4K as well. Um, but I'm telling you, it's going to look gorgeous on your 4K TV. <laughs> um, and I saw the feeders too. I really, I really had an awesome time. Uh, and here's another movie that's uh, very popular, just as popular as the Super Mario Brothers movie, and quite surprisingly very good, I mean, even if you're a male, like I am, Barbie, <laughs> with Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling, um, yeah, I mean, even if you're not into Barbies or anything, I mean, this is this is the kind of movie that you would watch, for sure. Uh, it's very pasty, very cute, very enjoyable. Directed by uh, Greta Gerwig. Um, some nice cast and some cameos here and there. And wonderful music, no matter what you choose. Um, well, I know there's there's a lot of the random twenty uh, twenties uh, music that we're getting, but I'll take uh, the Dua Lipa um, song "Dance the Night Away," <laughs> which has a perfect fitting for this film. Yeah, and it does have some extras too. It's only the the four K only. There is a Blu Ray and a DVD. But I was lucky to get the 4K for sure. Um, I guess I don't mind getting it twice if I can. <laughs> if, if there's something missing. But I don't know. Otherwise, this is great. Because it looks gorgeous. The only thing I'm missing now is Oppenheimer. Which just already got a 4K release. And I hope I could pick it up for sure. So they don't end up getting lost. Because I know they're struggling pretty hard to, to send more in stock so that's been going on during social media thinking that they're not going to sell any more copies well, let's hope not because nolan definitely supports physical media like everyone else does like i do we want to keep physical media alive we want to have you know collections of these films this is exactly why we need to start picking them up for sure okay um I got some more in the back too, <laughs> just to keep up. Uh, I got Gran Turismo. Surprisingly, became the best uh, video game adaptation this year, joining in with Super Mario Brothers movie. Because <laughs> I love racing cars, and I know I've heard of this game because it's mostly popular on PlayStation. Um, and I know it's an awesome game for sure. For those who played it. Um, but it's also based on a true story. Too. It has a great cast right there. You got uh, David Harbour. And Orlando Bloom. Together. And you got this kid right there. This young man. Who's going to become. The next. Big. Uh, racing car driver. And look at all the features that you got. And this is totally the perfect adrenaline rush right there. <laughs> Probably the closest thing we ever get for racing car films. Uh, joining in with Days of Thunder and, and all these other, you know, 
best car films <laughs> around. Okay. And I got the one that's been totally controversial, but nevertheless, it is indeed a holiday classic as a comedy, for sure. Planes, Trains, and Automobiles on 4K with the Blu-ray as a bonus disc and a digital code. But the best thing about this release, despite of the controversy 4K transfer that they use, it got over an hour of never before seen deleted and extended scenes. Something you never thought you would see in every Planes, Trains, and Automobiles releases. Can you believe that? This is the reason too, because there's like so many scenes, besides one, were never included. And I never thought that we'd get to see plenty of them because this was the cuts that they were gonna use uh, when this movie was made. You know, John Hughes was actually gonna use a whole bunch of that. And I was happy to see that he actually did that. And I'm just happy that Paramount finally got a chance to put them all on the bolts when this was released last year. So here's all the features right there. And it has all the vintage features from the previous releases, especially the, the DVD that I have when I got it at Best Buy back in 2009, which I thought the transfer on the DVD was actually the best this movie had ever looked. So it's, it may not have the greatest transfers around, but it doesn't mean that it's bad because it's still a classic movie that, that's well-deserved. So I'm not so sure they'll ever do a redo. I mean, the Blu-ray had a bad transfer, but at least we can appreciate which one is worse. It's just another example of pick your poison. But I would rather get this even if the transfer isn't the best, for sure. Because it's always nice to see, you know, both Steve Martin and John Candy together have terrific chemistry. And it's nice to see them on 4K, despite of its issues of the, the print that they got. But it's also great to see a colorful characters that you're familiar with all in this one particular comedy. And seeing that this was indeed an adult comedy that's set around the holiday season, especially Thanksgiving. And it's a road trip movie too. <laughs> and then I got the Blu-ray. I know there's a 4K release of it, but maybe I'll take my chances of Shazam! Fury of the Gods, which was a decent sequel to the original Shazam that came out in 2019. And I enjoy the movie for, for what it's worth. I mean, mostly for its characters and, and all the action scenes that they put into it and some comedy thrown in. I mean, it may have its issues, but I enjoyed it for what it's worth. I mean, when it comes to all the DCEU films out there, and I know the Flash was a disappointment, so I hate to say this. I mean, despite the fact that we had Michael Keaton reprise his role as Batman, you know, Bruce Wayne from the Tim Burton films, and of course, Sasha Kali playing Superwoman. Those are the main reasons to see that movie, but it is a disappointment for sure with Ezra Miller playing the, the Flash and you know, trying to go back in time to fix what's going on. Yeah. And I got uh, two films from Kino Lober. Never thought I would find some of these titles at Target, but it was there. And even though the Target that I went to didn't have enough physical media on the shelf, so that was the worst. But I got the movie Dead Heat on a Merry-Go-Round with James Coburn. Yeah, it's a, um, it's basically, uh, it's a comical uh, caper, crime caper uh, thriller, but it's a 
So I would like to check this out for sure. And 52 Pickup with Roy Scheider and Anne Margaret. Um, excellent film. Uh, came out in 1986. It was based on the Elamore Leonard uh, novel. Of course, wrote the screenplay, but it was directed by John Frankenheimer. Of course, went on to do Ronin, among other films that he's done in his entire career before his passing. Um, <clears throat> but it's a, <clears throat> it's a very uh, surreal, excellent thriller with a great cast. You also have um, great actors like uh, Kelly Preston, God rest her soul, Clarence Williams III, God rest his soul, Manny uh, Vanity, God rest her soul, Doug McClure, no longer with us, and John Glover, who played the nastiest villain of them all. Yeah, they all got slip covers for sure. I hope I can find some more Kino Lober titles in the future. I know the Monster Squad just got a 4K recently. That's awesome. I would love to get Mystery Man on 4K too. And all these other titles someday for sure. But anyway, those are the titles I got during Black Friday. And I'm glad I, I got them all for sure. And I'm hoping to get plenty of more titles on physical media because it does matter. You know, we want them to last forever. We want to continue to have more movies. Not everything has to be on streaming only. Everything should be available elsewhere. And we want to keep them alive. So anyway, I'm Justin A. Sabora. I can't wait to watch these movies on my entire collection. And I'll see you later. Bye.